While the epoxy is drying, we will start fitting the gear house and motor bracket on the tunnel. If there is any epoxy from the casting process where the motor bracket is to be positioned, make sure to sand this away. The motor bracket must lie evenly on the tunnel surface. To be able to place the gear house correctly, you need to find the boat's center line. This is important because there is limited clearance between the propeller and tunnel wall. Included in the tool set, you will find a guide. Use the guide to mark the holes that will be drilled for the gear house. Before you make these marks, make sure that the height of the bulkhead where the motor is mounted is high enough. In our case, we must mount the electric motor in a forward position to have enough clearance. If the angle surpasses 30 degrees, a supporting bracket must be made for the motor to rest on. When the right position has been identified, use a punch to mark the hole positions to avoid slippage while drilling.